941 AD, a massive Rus fleet surrounds 15 Byzantine warships at Constantinople. The Rus expect easy victory. Then, the Byzantines unleash Greek fire, the liquid that burns on water. For 800 years, this weapon terrified Byzantium's enemies. Then, the secret was lost. Greek fire was a petroleum-based liquid projected through bronze tubes called siphons. It burned on water, couldn't be extinguished, stuck to ships like ancient napalm. The Byzantines heated crude oil from the Caucasus, mixed it with tree resin, and pumped it through a force pump. A torch at the nozzle ignited it. Result? A 15-meter jet of flame over 1,000 degrees Celsius. In 941, Prince Igor attacked Constantinople with over a thousand boats. The Byzantines had 15 warships, but each had Greek fire projectors at bow, stern, and sides. The Rus surrounded them. Big mistake. Liquid flame poured onto the Rus boats. Water didn't stop it. Men jumped into the sea, but the fire followed them. The Rus called it lightning from heaven. Byzantium won with 15 ships. The formula was a state secret guarded by the imperial family. In 1204, the Fourth Crusade sacked Constantinople. The secret died. For 800 years, historians debated what it was. In 2002, scientists recreated it using crude oil, pine resin, and a bronze pump. It worked. 15-meter flame, burned on water, unstoppable. Why didn't it spread? Byzantium lost access to Caucasus oil sources when the empire weakened. No oil, no Greek fire. But its legacy lived on. The world's first liquid flamethrower, ancestor of modern napalm. For 530 years, Byzantium's shield. The secret that burned on water.